Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. What is that? You want to explain? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they have. Watch our other vlog. You'll see. Last vlog? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll just do a little tiny recap. Basically, somebody hit and ran. Hit and ran? Is that what, how you say it? Hit. Hit and run. Hit and, hit and ran. Our car. Well, Jesse's car that was parked. And he just had to do a police report today. But um, that's all right. We're over it. It's honestly, we were going to take care of getting that car fixed up anyway. So now we just have to do it faster. But it's a Sunday right now. It's a beautiful day outside. It's like pretty hot. Um, we're going to go run some errands. I think we need it to go to the UPS store so he can send our um, router. Mm -hmm. Our router back for when we had internet in Lawrence. And then we're going to Starbucks, going to the grocery store, and just like random stuff like that. Um, also, I tried to straighten my hair today so I could get like a better look at the layers. Why is this hurting my arm so much? I'm so weak. <laughs> so I can get a better look at the layers and honestly, they're pretty botched. So I'm kind of reconsidering not getting it fixed and just going to a hair salon again and paying for another haircut and just having them fix it um but yeah we'll see should we show them a little bump shot okay so i am 23 weeks four days today and i'll show you guys my little outfit all right so this is how it looks from the front i don't think i really look pregnant from the front especially wearing black but then i turn to the side pregnant <laughs> but yeah this is how we're looking i haven't gotten any stretch marks yet and i don't have my um what is it called it's like linea nigra or something like i have that. no idea what you're talking about so it's basically this like line of pigmentation that goes up like your stomach oh yeah, yeah. but i haven't gotten that or stretch marks yet but it's still early and there's still time so yeah that's where we're at right now mm -hmm. but yeah so we're gonna go hit the road and start running our errands lo, 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 lo. Also, if you guys are wondering how our cats are doing, here is Sparkly Girl. Hi, baby. Oh, <laughs> why? But yeah, she's doing much better. Um, she's gotten used to living down here, and she's even gotten used to Himi a little bit more to where she's not like running up on her and trying to attack. So that's pretty happy. This is his favorite spot for some reason. He loves scratching this carpet. You can even see like some of his nail sheddings on there, but we got him a cat scratcher and put it right here. Well, this is actually from Sparkles' birthday, but we got it and neither of them like it. So that's kind of unfortunate. And then his favorite scratcher, he doesn't even use anymore because he prefers this like little rug thing. Luckily, this is like the kind of texture that's like really hard and basically not that easy to ruin so that's happy but charlie's doing good he loves himi he lets her pet him all the time and so they're becoming good friends right charlie boy let's see that face hey sleepy girl star hi baby Okay, so we're walking to Starbucks right now, and it's freaking hot outside, guys. It's like, what, in the 90s, probably? Huh? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Yeah. It's like wow. uh, mid-90s, mid, mid 90s, but it's like humid as freak, and like we're standing in the parking lot right now. Yeah. It's like feel the heat like melting me from my feet up. <laughs> Why do I not have sunglasses on? I don't know. Ugh. Yeah, it's really hot, and I'm going to start sweating here in like two seconds. But it's going to be worth it because we're going to have the yummiest, most refreshing drinks from Starbucks to take grocery shop shopping with us. Yeah. Nice. Feels good, huh? <laughs> also, fun fact, this is the place that I got my wax done at. It's European Wax Center, if you guys are curious. Here is Teeter 
now and we got everything that we needed. Jesse ran to the bathroom real quick, but we really barely got anything. I guess we thought we needed more stuff than we actually did, especially because this week we're working from home on Thursday, Friday. So yeah, we just didn't get that many things. I'll show you guys super fast. So we just got some goldfish for snacks, some organic tortilla chips, these are um, Canadian flavored chips. They're super yummy um, and we haven't found them in very many stores since Dylan's and Lawrence stopped carrying them, but they're so good. If you guys can get these, definitely give them a try. And then we got two different flavors of these organic cereal bars. And then we got some Safe Catch tuna. And then we got some of this um, hand soap. And lastly, we just got two honey crisp apples. They're the, the best. Also, I saw Jesse walk this way now. I feel like he is looking for me. <laughs> I'm just over here. <laughs> ah, that's funny. I thought I got lost. No, I thought you were looking for me and you just like walked that way. Were you? No. You're getting, so this is more important than finding his wife. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> but yeah, now we're heading out. We're gonna check out and then I think we're gonna go to Mom's, which is like a organic grocery store around here. And I feel like that'll be it for the day, right? For grocery shopping, mm -hmm. yeah. But we're gonna go get cat food for Mom's and just like whatever else like we feel like munching on. But I don't know, what else are we doing today? Why did I feel like we had more to do? We didn't. Hmm. It's gonna be a short vlog. Maybe we'll just tag it on something yesterday's, else. Yeah. something like that. So we're back home now and we just put away the groceries. Um, I did stop by Ross to see if I could find anything for the baby, but I didn't really see anything I liked. And then I did kind of peek at their maternity stuff and they had a bunch, but I didn't really have that much time to look. So I think I'm just gonna go back later. Um, but right now I have some leftovers from yesterday's dinner at the Korean restaurant. So I'm gonna heat this up and have this kind of for dinner. I might snack on something else later because it's only like five, I think. So I'm gonna do that and then what are you gonna eat for dinner? I haven't decided yet. Cause you're, I don't know if your parents are making something. Yeah, it's not like they're gonna eat out. Well, we have some stuff. We have some stuff we can make. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then the only other thing I'm doing really tonight is gonna try to work out and then also I'm going to make some pesto pasta salad for lunch tomorrow so I'll show you guys how I make that later Is it really hot? Well, that's fine. It's not like gonna bring it on. All right, so Jesse and I were supposed to go on a walk, but he ended up taking a nap, and I was editing anyway, so we just didn't have time to because right now it is 7:40 and the sun's gonna set in like half an hour. So instead, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be making for lunch tomorrow. Um, it's a really easy recipe, it's really good. Basically all it is is just a pesto pasta salad. And so all you guys need for this is some pasta, some basil, cherry tomatoes, and a green pesto. And then lastly, just some mozzarella pearls. These are the ones that we're using. But I'm gonna put these in the fridge until we need them since I don't want them to go bad. And then of course, you might need to add a little bit of salt or whatever you guys want. But my water is already boiling, so I'm gonna throw half of this box to boil.
I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt. So while the noodles are cooking, I'm just gonna cut up the basil and the tomatoes for the pasta. So now that the pasta is done, I'm basically just gonna throw everything in there and just combine it, mix it really well, and of course taste it to make sure it tastes good. So this is the final product. Looks really fresh and yummy. I'm just gonna taste this to make sure it doesn't need any salt. And then I'm gonna pack it in Tupperware and throw it in the fridge. And then this is something you can eat cold. It's really good cold. That's why it's called pasta salad. But yeah, let's see how it tastes. Mm. So I'm mosquito fly. There's nothing, not a damn thing I can do about it. All right, it's actually really good. It doesn't actually need any salt at all. It really just depends on the kind of pesto that you use because I've had to add salt in this recipe before. But yeah, it's a really good. And I'm sure I'll be really satisfied after lunch tomorrow. guys i'm going to finish up doing the dishes and i think that's going to be it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed bye